Just before I begin the formal words, if I may say three things. The first is always a joy and a pleasure to be uh, in Hilton. Really good to be with you. Secondly, it's an extra joy and pleasure to be blessing the new ministries of Sue and Helen Jr. A really lovely moment in the life of the society and the community. And thirdly, it's an apology and saying truth something <laughs> almost as important to say. <laughs> it has been a gathering of, of representatives of my diocese and that of the Diocese of Western Tanganyika and that of the Diocese of El Camino Real in the United States. Um, going through the process called INDAR, which is all designed to hold our Anglican communion together. And that's pretty important work. Mm -hmm. So after the service, rather than staying very long with you. I think I'd better go back to them. So I'm sorry if I don't get to talk to all of you. But it's really good to be here tonight. So I gathered here to give thanks for the ministry of Helen Julian as Minister of Provincial to welcome and bless Sue, who's been chosen to serve as Minister of Provincial, and Helen Julian in her new role as Minister General. God of unchangeable power, when you fashioned the world, the host of heaven shouted for joy. Open our eyes to the wonders of creation, and teach us to use all things for your good. As we celebrate all we have shared with Helen Julian, during her ministry to us, we ask your blessing as she continues on her journey of discovery. May the love that is in our hearts be abundantly like us forever. May the power of your presence richly bless us all, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Our rule in life is this, to observe the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, by living in obedience, without anything of one's own, and in chastity. I have done what was mine to do. May Christ teach you all what you are to do. What you hold, may you always hold. What you do, may you always do, and never abandon. With swift pace, light step, unswerving feet. So that even your steps stir up no dust. May you go forward securely, joyfully and swiftly. On the path of prudent happiness. May you offer your vows to the Most High in the pursuit of that perfection to which the Spirit of the Lord has called you. Mm -hmm. So in the presence of the community, you commit yourself to this trust and responsibility. I do. Will you guard those put in your care, nurture them in the faith, and by your life and example, proclaim the living word among them after the spirit of the Blessed Francis. I will, God being my helper. Will you see that the observance of the rule is maintained with love, patience and understanding? I will, God being my helper. Now, sisters and brothers, will you love and support Sue in this ministry? We, we will. will. Let us then silently offer our prayers to God and ask a blessing on Sue. So together let us bless this ministry. And our blessed lady, pray with you. May St. Francis, who bore the marks of the Lord Jesus, pray for you. May St. Clare, pray for you. May all the saints of the three orders pray for you. May the holy angels befriend you and watch around you to protect you. And I will pronounce upon you the blessing which our Holy Father Francis gave to Brother Leo, his companion. The Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look 
proclaim their honor and give you peace. To the Lord bless you. Amen.